Hi everybody, this is Scott Snyder. I am lead software developer for Sundial Technologies. I decided that I'm going to start making some videos called developer discussion videos where I show you new features that are currently in development in order to let you provide feedback in order to make the product better. Currently, as most of you know, the actual control of the dialer engine is done on the actual dialer engine program that controls the entire system called the SD Engine 6.exe. That's this program right here, and this is what lets you start and stop the dialer and so on. My goal has long been to keep people off the actual dialer engine to prevent them from causing problems and to ensure that it works consistently and to let them control it either remotely from another PC or from the remote admin directly on the dialer engine. So the core dialer engine code, the stable and solid, well-tested SD Engine 6.exe code will end up running invisible on the dialer engine and eventually as a Windows service. My first step in this process is to stop people from running the dialer engine from a shortcut on the desktop as they currently do or from a shortcut on the taskbar as mine. This is how it's currently run. So instead of running the Sundial engine on the dialer engine from a shortcut, you will be running a local copy of the Sundial Remote Admin installed directly on the dialer engine that contains parameters which will start the dialer engine. Okay, you can see here I've started the Remote Admin and the Sundial engine is starting. Now when the Sundial engine starts, it is now minimized and it's set up in what I'm calling mini mode. And mini mode is just a quick summary of what's going on by segment in the dialer engine. Now so people don't freak out, hey where's my dialer engine? You can always go back to full mode if you need to in an emergency or for some other reason. And you can toggle between each, go back to mini mode. Now currently the dialer will not be able to be shut down via the remote admin and this is for safety reasons. You'll still have to shut it down by going to X shut down. This will shut down the engine. Are you really, 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 really sure? And you say yes. Bam, now the engine is down. You can see here on the remote admin that it says local engine is not running. If you need to run it again, you can click run and it comes back. Bam. The settings to allow the local remote admin to run the SD engine are as followed. In other settings, they are run local engine at startup, run local engine in mini mode, and mini mode minimize, which is true or false. The Sundial Engine mini mode for remote admin control is currently supported in Sundial Engine versions 5.50x or above. I'm looking forward to hearing any comments, suggestions, or concerns about this new feature. Thank you.